बिस्मिल्लाहिर्रहमानिर रहीम माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई होप ऑल योर फाइन वेलकम बैक टू आईसीटी क्लास आई एम रिसिफत रहमान लेक्चरर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ आईसीटी माइलस्टोन कॉलेज डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडेस टॉपिक्स आर ई लर्निंग एंड बांग्लादेश एंड ई गवर्नेंस and Bangladesh okay let's see what is do mean by e-learning 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 is the short version of electronic learning which basically means a teaching process by using CD-ROM the internet personal network and TV channels Shong TV channels such that it's, it is Shangshat television broadcast to your all classes recorded video and Shangshat TV provide in this pandemic situation distance learning to every class and every topics. It, Shangshat TV learning is a e-learning. For example, it is hard to demonstrate in class different scientific and natural phenomena such as solar eclipse, moon eclipse. A teacher may demonstrate this phenomena with images, videos and graphs with the help of multimedia. The class can be interactive too. In Bangladesh, Bangladesh e learning of in Bangladesh, Bangladesh is not lagging behind in e learning. The ICT specialists of the country have opened some web portals offering courses in Bangla and learning learners from any part of the world can take the course. A city specialist developed a lot of his uh, website Khan Academy and 10 minutes 10 minutes school dot com is the offering lots of course in Bangla and learners are learned from this website. E-learning can play vital role in overcoming the limitations of teaching Bangladesh. But e-learning is not the alternative or substitute of conventional way of learning. The e-governance. What is e-governance? This application of electronic or digital method in the government administration is called e-governance. E-governance has made some services accessible 24 hours a day, 7 day a week and 365 days a year. Continued e-governance. Within the with the introduction of e-services, interdepartmental communication and networking within the government has increased. Government employee have also become skilled as a result providing faster service has become easier. Now let's see e-governance in Bangladesh. District offices of the deputy commissioners have e-services centers in order to ensure easy affordable 
and hassle free services now a service delivery of services that took 2 to 3 weeks in the past now takes only 2 to 5 days in this e governance government employees are skilled and is a interdepartmental communication and networking within the government has increased as a result providing faster service has become easier for example e governance the manual process of paying gas electricity and water bills is time consuming and troublesome sometimes the busy hours a day or spent to pay the utility bills now the bills can be paid either through online or cell phone e governance in bangladesh for lots of scenario watch this images atm service most of the banks are provide service atm to can deposit and withdraw money from atm anywhere anytime in bangladesh it's a 24 a uh, seven and uh, 365 days services another service information services if we have no how to complete applying a passport this is the government service you may just visit their website and apply for passport do not visit and waste time to their go visit office and receive a form then submit a form it's spent and lost of working hour and day it's information service most of the services government service and also private services are available in online mobile banking is a very popular service now this time the cash rocket m cash sure cash my cash all of them are mobile banking you may you have a mobile and you open a mobile banking account it's completely paperless account and if you deposit and withdraw money and send money as well as you pay utility bills through this mobile banking bangladesh bank uh, this mobile system mobile called mobile financial services another thing is e services electronic service that depends on egp electronic government procurement that means e bangladesh government interested to buy some things from an organization this advertisement published the website and if you interested the this supply this product is the called this type process type is called tender and this tender is the electronic tender and government purchase this product from you and all process are completely online basis then physically just you supply your product to the government okay now this part is exercise this exercise part here five questions so 
question with answer. I would like to request everyone just write your notebook and note down this question and memorize. Okay. Question one. What is the full meaning of e-learning? The answer is electronic learning. Question two. Which one is needed to ensure good governance in the country? The answer is e-governance. Question is write down the name of the new action taken to get all the services of the deputy commissioner's office. The answer is e-service. Question is which is an example of e-governance in education the answer is applying in mobile the question is which is not an alternative to traditional methods the answer is electronic learning exercise part two here question is how the speed of service can be increased? Answer is e-governance. What will require a learning practice in classroom? Fast internet connectivity. Question number three. What are the needed for a good governance? Answer is transparency and accountability. What is the main issue of e-governance? Answer is keep the citizens' life better and harassment free. The last question, last question is how many days of activities can be converted through e-governance? The answer is 24 multiply 7 multiply 365. Okay, now it's a homework. Write down the 10 knowledge based questions answer. And if you have any question, do not hesitate. It. Just ask your subject teacher or me. Kids, thank you. Friends, that's all today's class. Com after completing your homework, submit to ICT teacher. Allah Hafiz.